guys welcome to today's night routine so this video is going to be super super chill and realistic and productive it's currently 4 30 and i'm going to start to unwind cook dinner and stuff soon but i just wanted to start the video now i feel like a lot of the times when i click on a night routine people are doing so many things that are just so extra that is really not that realistic to do every day and i'm like is this your actual night routine or are you just doing this for the video you know what i mean so i want to show you guys like my real raw night routine i'm not gonna add anything in here that i don't normally do because what is the point of that so i'm giving you guys a night in my life real raw what i actually do and yeah so i hope you guys enjoy i'm just gonna take you guys along so i'm currently just finishing up editing a video that i am hoping i can upload tomorrow it was supposed to go up today but there's just no way i was gonna finish editing it by today so i'm planning on working another half hour to potentially an hour on it depending on when i just like i'm done for the day and i feel like i'm just tapped out i usually end my work days like working around five o'clock just because like, that's i feel like the standard time that a normal person with an average job ends work so it just feels right but since daylight savings just happened and the clock went back sorry the clock went forward so it's a lot brighter out later now which has kind of been screwing with my head recently because it's been so bright out at like six o'clock and usually it's pitch black and i I just have a really bad perception of time right now because of that so it's just been screwing with me a little bit but i have to keep like looking at the clock because last night i was on the couch just chilling and didn't even realize it was already nine o'clock when i thought it was like literally six and i was so confused so that's the tea sometimes though if i get like super super creative at night later i'll stay up editing usually i have a pretty consistent routine though where i'm always finishing around five or maybe 5 30 ish because i always want to cook start cooking dinner around this time but there's that odd time where i'm just at my computer all night because i just feel really creative i just honestly listen to my body when it comes to that i'm gonna finish editing this or continue editing it i don't think i'm gonna even finish tonight but let's do this and then we will get to cooking dinner are pretty impressive so i'm excited to try these made with brown rice flour Okay guys, I just officially finished work for the day. It's currently around 6.15. I was supposed to stop editing like an hour ago, but I kind of forgot that I had to edit my short form content because I film my morning routine almost every single morning and I edit it and post it to YouTube Shorts and also TikTok so I can stay on top and have somewhat of a short form portfolio. Anyways, I just do it for motivation. The videos get super repetitive, but I feel like you guys like them because you guys say it gives you a lot of motivation, which is good. And I am very, very consistent with my morning routine. So setting up my phone and taking a few clips of it really doesn't require much effort on my part. So I'm like, may as well. And it's also very easy, recyclable content that I can use for all the short form platforms. So anyways, had to edit that. Completely forgot I had to edit it. So I just did that quickly. It took me just over an hour. Yeah, so that's why I'm running a little light today. But I am very, very hungry. So I cannot wait for dinner. I'm going to start it right now. I usually start dinner at around 5. So we're a little bit off track. And again, it's also like the fact that it's still bright outside right now my brain is still thinking i have to like do some work but so weird i'm still not used to it i'm actually gonna make toscana soup for dinner tonight it's a really good soup recipe i'll show you guys me cooking it and like the final product and i will have the recipe linked down below but one of my favorite soups of all time. It's so, so good. Sometimes Joel and I will go on an evening walk. Like after we clock out, we're like, let's just go debrief and have a nice walk. Today, we just kind of didn't feel like it since I had to edit my thing. It is a really beautiful day out right now, but it's just not the vibe. We just like go off whether it's the vibe or not. Tonight, it's not the vibe, but a lot of times it's part of my night routine where I'll go on a walk around like 45 minutes to an hour walk. And it's just so nice to debrief at the end of the day. But today, not happening. So anyways, let's make dinner and get relaxing. Let's get cooking. Also, I'm not in my pajamas yet, but you will see me in nothing but loungewear when I'm at home Like you will not catch me wearing jeans around the house I will be in some sort of 
comfortable outfit when I'm just chilling around the house. I don't put on my pajamas till later because I don't like sitting in my pajamas for too long because I always end up like spilling something when I'm eating dinner and stuff. So I hate getting my pajamas dirty, but I'm always in something super comfortable. So also look at how pretty the sun is right now. I love myself a beautiful sunny day. We used to get like the most beautiful sunsets in our apartment. And that's what I miss most about our apartment is the damn sunsets were just so amazing. And we don't really get those here. I can look out the window and see it, but it's not the same as like our apartment. Literally go to my Instagram and look at my apartment highlight and I had just have the best sunset photos. Oh, sorry. I think it's my sunset highlight, but I'm in love with sunsets. It makes you appreciate it more when you don't have it, you know? But anyways, love our house right now. I'm just like reminiscing because of the beautiful sun shining in right now. Got my little soup ingredients out and now I just have to chop and cook, etc. But this is basically the substance of the soup is potatoes, sausage, kale, and onion. And then obviously like garlic and chicken broth and stuff, but basis of the soup. <laughs> Concert. Uh, she was hot, so. Whoa, 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 whoa. I remember her legs glistening that night. On what? Her legs glistening. You're not. Um... They would just look so smooth, I just wanted to touch them. Because <laughs> that was before I ever really touched the legs of a woman. The legs of a woman. Oh, shoot. I need to start cutting up the potatoes. I need four to five yellow potatoes. So the soup is currently just cooking. It needs to stay on the stove for about 20 minutes. So Joel and I are gonna watch this show called The Trust. We just started watching this on Netflix and I haven't heard any hype about it yet, but apparently it's really good. I mean, it's good so far, but like I haven't heard it anywhere usually you hear about like a hyped up show on tiktok or something it's basically like a game show there's a sum of money and i won't give away the plot but you should just start watching it it's so good and it's so entertaining but we're just gonna sit down and watch and then wait for the soup to be done and then we're gonna eat Okay guys, this soup just finished. Look at how good it looks. This is such like a good hearty soup. I love making it. And I have it like once every couple months because it's just so good. And it's like one of my go-to soup recipes. And I was just literally craving this the other day. So I had to buy the ingredients for it and make it. But we're gonna plate it and sit down and eat now. For those who already watched my videos, you saw this coming. But kombucha in a wine glass, the best thing ever. This is what I imagine how people feel drinking like wine at the end of the night. For me, it's my kombucha in a wine glass. This is a great brand of kombucha I always buy at the grocery store. This is my favorite flavor of theirs, the raspberry lemonade. I put two frozen strawberries in my glass with some ice and I just crack her open. She is so beautiful. Trust me, this makes anything just feel more bougie and it makes everything just feel more luxe. I just can't even describe how much I love the combo of kombucha and a wine glass. It's just, it's so me. And if you've never tried it, please do. Anyways, I'm gonna sit down to eat now, but I'm telling you, best drink ever to end off my night. I'm actually like addicted. <laughs> Cheers. I just
just finished eating dinner and I got out my cute little thrifted flower bowl because I am a gal who needs a sweet treat at the end of the night. One easy, quick, sweet treat that I like doing, sometimes I bake, it really just depends, but today I'm lazy, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this peanut butter chocolate cereal. Mm. <laughs> this stuff is so underrated for having it as a dessert, and since I never really got to eat sugary cereals as a kid, like my parents never bought them because they're pretty much unhealthy, I thrive off of this as an adult as a sweet treat for dessert. Um, these are the organic, they're gluten-free so i am kind of justifying it that way but they're peanut butter and chocolate baby so we're gonna whip ourselves up a bowl we have my homemade cashew almond milk that i'm gonna put in here as well make it a little bit extra healthier and that's my little sweet treat of the night i'm gonna sit down on the couch with joel and we're gonna enjoy our cereals together you just can't go wrong with a bowl of cereal because it's so easy peasy kitchen cleaning up dinner is a task in itself it's like after eating dinner especially at the end of the day the last thing you want to do is clean it's a whole process but i really really like to have at least like the kitchen clean before we go to bed at least like 90 percent of everything and then in the morning i'll put away the dry dishes that we wash but i at least like to go to bed with the kitchen being like moderately clean the only time i ever make exceptions for this is on the weekend and if we order takeout or something or whatever i don't mind just leaving the kitchen a mess and cleaning it the next morning but every single weekday i make a point of not leaving the kitchen dirty before we go to bed because that just sets the next day up for failure you don't want to wake up on a weekday especially to a messy kitchen or a messy house so i try to like maintain especially just like cleaning what i can every single day so that i don't run myself crazy because i hate seeing mess like i literally it's a problem like i hate it when i was younger i used to cry if something was too messy the ocd in me where i just like need things to be clean and if i have like a messy space like i only let certain spaces in the house get messy before i like can't handle it it's like only messy for like a day tops and then, then i like need to clean it i just can't function in a messy space and especially like waking up in the morning on a brand new day and coming down the kitchen is like a disaster i hate that so we always make sure to clean dinner and just make sure everything is like 90 percent done so that we're not waking up to a big mess in the morning but anyway so this is the time of the night where i like take my supplements so i'm gonna take my beam natural beauty supplement i've been taking this for a while now and it's helped my eczema so much it's like a natural skin supplement they actually sponsored one of my videos a while ago but i love them so much Each night is a little bit different with what I eat, obviously, and what I have for dessert. Like, sometimes I'm baking brownies, cookies, whatever, but it just differs from day to day. Sometimes if I feel like it, I'll have a tea, but that doesn't really happen often. I don't know. I'm not a very big tea drinker, but sometimes I do want it. So I have that occasionally at night, but not very often. So this is just like my pretty much like my daily night routine. So you're getting the real seal. But anyways, I'm just going to turn on the dishwasher and then we're going to head upstairs for the night. So before I carry on with the night routine, I wanted to introduce you guys to Bet Slumber. Bet Slumber is dedicated to making your life more peaceful, more zen, and they are a tech brand that's all about creating comfortable noise reduction products. After many experiments, they have successfully developed a unique earplug that has genuine noise canceling effects. And you guys, they actually work. Joel is a really light sleeper. He always goes to bed a little bit before me, and I always manage to wake him up while I'm shuffling around the room at night. He will wake up to any little noise. And so that was like the real test and he said it was the most zen sleep So that says a lot and the reason why they work so well is because they have a patent technology That basically just helps you find true peace in the midst of high medium or low noises frequencies This is what they look like. They're super comfortable and they fit right in your ear They also come with an assortment of sizes so you can choose size small medium large or extra large So that they could fit anybody's ear perfectly and also you don't only have to use these for sleeping But if you live in a super noisy 
busy household you can use them for studying you can use them for working just like relaxing or even for concerts you can literally bring them or wear them anywhere they're so portable because they come in this little carrying case thank you so much to Beth slumber for sponsoring this video if you want to learn more about them you can click the link in my description and you can back their project on kickstarter so i'm just back on my computer quickly just to wrap up any emails for the night and i just have to do something really quickly so i needed to hop back on i just kind of like before i go to bed to completely close up like everything that i need to do to make sure that i'm good for the day so i just have to pay my phone bill quickly right now so if you guys know i've been in my journaling era and this is my 2024 journal that usually i get called to write in at night whenever i come to like close off my computer i always have this laying on my desk to remind me to write in it otherwise if i hide this in a drawer like it's never going to get written in and that's like one of the things that i've learned from the book atomic habits if you want to make something a habit put it in front of your eyes an example for this would be like oh i want to eat more fruit but then you buy fruit at the grocery store and then you put it in like a drawer in your fridge but it's like that's not very accessible to the naked eye you know and in the book he's saying if you want to make something a habit you have to put it right in front of you you can't make it any easier for yourself like you have to just like shove it in your in your own face and so if you want to implement eating more fruit instead of putting it in the drawer in the fridge instead either just put it right in the middle of your fridge on the first shelf so you just see it when you open the fridge or put it like on a bowl in the middle of your counter so you're always seeing it and then instead of going to eat a cracker as a snack you'll see the fruit instead and then automatically you'll just take that instead so it's kind of just like whatever is in our awareness we're more drawn to and so that's why i made a point of like putting this journal more into my awareness and like more in my vision so that every single time i come on to my desk i see it and it reminds me that i want to and have to write in it so that's like a little life hack that i've learned that's actually been so helpful because i never really thought about it that way but trust me like putting things in your just like eyesight is so important to do instead of hiding things away especially something you want to implement like if you want to implement going to the gym more just try laying out a workout set right next to your bedside table or somewhere where you wake up and can just see it and put it on because that subconsciously makes it so much easier for ourselves to actually follow through with it so it's kind of weird how that works but if you guys want to hear more about that just like read the book atomic habits but that's like something that i've learned and putting this on my desk in my area that i am a lot it's actually helped a lot i think my problem one of the problems with me not journaling in the past was that i would always store my journals in a drawer i would never really just have them like out and i feel like that really made a difference and potentially that's why i've never journaled that much in the past because i would never just display my journals so anyways long Long story short i've been journaling more often so i'm gonna do a little journal session right now because i feel like it i don't force myself to do this every single night if i have nothing to write about i have nothing to write about so i only do it when i feel called and also i don't want to make like my self-care things that i do for myself a chore i feel like there's a fine line between doing things for yourself that you know it's going to benefit you in the future and kind of forcing you to do it in the moment because you know it's going to pay off but then there's also that fine line between like don't force yourself to do absolutely everything because then you're just going to resent every single thing that you do you know you have to keep some stuff just for simple pleasure and not completely add it into your routine and that's something that i've learned because it's like with meditation even if i force myself to do it i resent it like i don't want to do it so it's more something that i do when i feel called to and i realize i just can't make it a part of my daily routine and i try to do it as often as possible but i don't want to resent it you know something that i do force myself to do almost every day is work out and get movement because i know that's what's needed i need to be like hardcore with myself on that even like with youtube and filming videos if a brand gives me a deadline to like submit the content i'm like oh like I ha now I have to film it. Having the notion that like I have to film it makes me not want to do it. Like whenever somebody says you have to do it, it makes me not want to do it. It's like if somebody told you to sit down for five hours and you have to watch TV for five hours straight, you're probably going to get like half an hour and you're going to be like, I don't want to do this. But like maybe if you were just chilling on the couch watching it, you wouldn't even notice. You know what I mean? So it's like you have to be careful about the things that you really force yourself to do and implement into your routine. That was a long spiel, but I'm going to just do a little journal and then I'm going to get myself ready for bed. <laughs> This is the most 
one of the most important parts of the night is changing my pajamas you guys know i love myself a good cute pair of pajamas these ones are from white box i thrive in cute pajamas i almost just want a new pair for every single night because i love getting my pajamas and feeling clean i'm not really a night shower girly because i always shower after my workouts in the morning so i do take a shower a day but i just do it in the morning and i just feel clean the whole day unless i do some sort of like heavy walking or i get sweaty obviously i'll take a shower but if i don't sweat or anything after my first shower of the day there's really no point in popping in the shower again so anyways i'm gonna walk you guys through my skincare routine it's super super simple i honestly haven't been doing much to my skin at all recently my skin has been good so i have not really switched anything up super basic i just start off with my cellar water take that on a cotton pad and then i'm just gonna remove my makeup Before I go in with like a cleanser, I brush my teeth because apparently if you brush your teeth before washing your face, you don't want to do that because when toothpaste drips down on your chin, it can create bacteria and if you don't wash that off, you can get like it create like pimples or whatever. So I always make sure that I brush my teeth before like cleansing my skin. I'm going to brush my teeth now and then we'll cleanse. <laughs> Now I'm going to go into the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm. And this stuff is so good. I love it so much, especially just for my skin type because it doesn't dry me out whatsoever. And I love the texture of it. It's only like maybe $15 for this big thing. It's so cheap compare in comparison to other cleansing balms on the market, especially like at Sephora and stuff. So definitely recommend to give it a try. Maybe you wouldn't like it for your skin type, but I personally really like it. Love this stuff so much. And I just use it after my cellar water and I give my skin a good cleanse. And I just feel like it takes off all the extra makeup that my my cellar water didn't so right after cleansing now i'm gonna go with the paula's choice exfoliating percent bha liquid exfoliant i only use this like twice three times a week this product went super viral on tiktok i'm gonna use her today because today is the day of the week that i use it i just put this on my hands and then onto my face so on the days that I don't use that, I actually go in with the nice cinnamide brightening toner by Good Molecules and I use this, but since I'm doing an exfoliation, I don't like putting more products on. I just let this sit on my face for a couple minutes and then put my moisturizer and that's basically the gist of it. But while the exfoliator is sinking into my skin, I'm gonna just go ahead and floss. I use these little flosser things. Now I'm gonna go into my tongue scraper. If you guys have never used a tongue scraper, please. For my sake buy one i will link this on amazon down below but please like do yourself a favor and get a tongue scraper and you will feel so clean but i'm gonna not show you guys how i do it but you just basically go like that and it's disgusting so i'm gonna do that now going in with the thera breath mouthwash this is their clean mint one and apparently it's good for your gums and whatever but i will link this down below as well love this mouthwash so much it is like non-toxic no alcohol all the good stuff so definitely recommend it and it really really helps the feeling of having my teeth brush lost tongue scrapes and then the mouthwash at the end you will never feel cleaner like my breath has never felt fresher definitely recommend these products last step of my skincare routine that i'm gonna do today i'm gonna do the first aid beauty ultra repair cream love this stuff so much this has been like my go-to cream for so long now and it's just such a good everyday cream love this it's so good for sensitive dry skin so then i go in with the ordinary multi-peptide lash and brow serum and just swipe it across my eyelashes the last actual thing that i don't do every single night but i want to start implementing every single night is gua shawing because i feel like i actually notice a difference with this so i'm just going to do a little swiping quickly and i don't do much before bed but i just like to get a few swipes in because i feel like it just like good drainage i don't know I don't know. Don't even listen to me. I feel like it does something, so I'm here for it. I'm really here for it. So anyways, that is the skincare routine. I know it's super basic, but sometimes I use like different products and oils and stuff, like one-off stuff. It's nothing that I do religiously every single night. This is like my religious every single night skincare routine. Those are my holy grail skincare products that I've been using for a long time now and that are just super simple, easy to do. It doesn't take me like 25 steps and pretty manageable. So my thing is always like longevity. If I implement something, I don't want it to be something that I'm only gonna do for three days it's not sustainable i'd rather like make my routine sustainable 
so that I could do it every single day. Get 1% better every day, you know? So anyways, that was my skincare routine. Let's head to bed. Best time of the night is my lay in bed time. I like to ideally get in bed at around 8 to 8.30. And then I have one hour before I absolutely have to fall asleep. So it's like a good, perfect wind down time to relax and chill and read. Actually, last thing, I'm gonna put some lip balm on. cozied up in bed and it just feels so good to have my face washed to be in bed in my pajamas there's like no better feeling than being cozied up an hour before you have to go to bed i have just really been trying to stay off of my phone like more so specifically just scrolling on tiktok before bed if i want to watch a youtube video i'll allow myself to do that because i feel like that's so much less stimulating in a bad way more so stimulating in a good way for me watching youtube videos but scrolling on tiktok is just always clouds my brain before going to bed and then it's literally like a never-ending loop and i feel like i can't get out of it like i just need to keep scrolling and scrolling and it's the worst feeling i really try to set healthy boundaries with scrolling on my phone before bed and i've actually become really good at it because i'll throw on a youtube video instead or i'll read so right now i'm reading um just on my ipad but i'm reading reminders of him by colleen hoover and i really like the book so far i'm only like 100 pages in but super good so far and it just like feels so much better reading before bed rather than scrolling because i actually get tired naturally rather than like i don't even know how to describe it you guys could probably relate but when i'm scrolling on tiktok before bed i am so tired but i almost can't stop scrolling because i don't know i start like feeling sick in a way and i'm like why can't i just put my damn phone down it's so unhealthy so i've been really glad i've been limiting that because i feel like that's just the worst thing so if you guys have trouble sleeping try just to stay at least specifically off of like short form content apps either watch a longer youtube video or get into a book do something that's not so mentally stimulating anyways i am going to do a little bit of reading before bed potentially watch a youtube video and just do my thing i just love this time in bed because really like i know my night routine is super simple and i don't really do anything extravagant i got a lot of requests for this and i feel like you guys think that i do some like extravagant thing like my true night routine i don't do anything crazy i just let my body completely relax do what i want take time to do self-care and I just want to prepare set myself up for the next day mentally physically all that yeah it's pretty simple yet kind of productive I guess anyways I'm gonna do a bit of reading right now and then I'm gonna head to bed i'm gonna end the video off here thank you so much for coming along with me on my night routine subscribe for more content and let me know what you guys want to see next for me and yeah i love you guys so much um and i'll see you guys in my next video